So how did this project come about? Yeah, so actually uh, I, I've been, I'd been talking to Greg Brooks about doing some cleats. And uh, I told him I was going to come in town for the Arkansas game. Before the game, I was going to pick him up and then bring him back and do it. And that's about the time that the news came out. Um, so when I wasn't going to be able to do it with Greg, then I reached out to Jaden on Instagram. and was like, dude, we've got to do uh, a cleat to, as a tribute to Greg. Um, so pretty special. Wow. Yeah, that is really special. Jaden, tell me more about Greg. What is he like as a person and as a teammate? Uh, he was a great person and teammate. Uh, you know, he always cared about his brothers. Uh, you know, he put everything out there on the line. So, you know, when the opportunity came, uh, after what he, the news that we found out what he was going through, uh, you know, I couldn't pass up the opportunity to do something like that just to show him tribute to him and his family, you know, as they get through these tough times. Did you have any specific design request when it came to the cleats? You know, I didn't. I told him he could do his thing. I just, you know, I just wanted something for Gray. So. Uh, and that, I just gave him the cleats and he just did his thing with it. Oh, yeah, wow. Yeah, and that's, and that's such an honor, too, because, you know, as an artist, it's a compliment whenever they're just like, nah, do whatever you want on him. Uh, that's really cool, so. Yeah, you um, trust Michael. You're like, yeah, he's going to make him fire anyway. And so. then uh, for the design, so actually, Jaden had, had told me that he was a little bit superstitious this year with the cleats. Mm -hmm. And so I, I looked at the cleats that he was wearing all year, and they were purple with the, with the gold Nike check. So I want to do something a little bit similar to where it's not too different from that. And then with the cleats with Malik and with Brian, we're, we're both like designer brands. So I wanted to like keep that going too. So that's why we did like the off-white. So it's an off-white Air Force One. And then on the, on the inside panel, it says boot up um, for JD5. Fight like three on the quote on the outside. Uh, within quotes, Greg Brooks Jr. Harvey, Louisiana, which is where he's from. And then 2001, which is the year he was born. And I was pretty much done with everything and I thought there was one thing that was missing. So I put the, the number three, which is on the helmets and on the, on the logo on the field, uh, on the toe of both the shoes. And it, it's funny because one of the things that I tell guys whenever I do these cleat projects is I want you to, whenever you wear these, um, to always remember to be present along the journey, right? To be where your feet are and really like 10 toes down, right? Definitely. So you know that when you're on the field and you look down at your toes, 10 toes down, that you see Greg Brooks on there. So that's why I put it there. Wow, yeah, for sure. that's awesome, yeah. And speaking of designer brands, I heard from your friend Malik Neighbors <laughs> that you like to shop a lot, is that right? <laughs> nah. <laughs> He's saying yes. He's saying yes. Yeah, here and there. Here okay, and so there. how many pairs of cleats would you say that you own, if you had to guess? Uh, <laughs> a lot. Uh, I don't know. They they always get on me for for the for my uh, locker. So. Oh yeah. I got I got some stuff. I mean, I got a lot of cleats I ain't even wore yet. I bet. Yeah. So, I just, cool. I kind of wear them for practice and stuff like that. I haven't really bust nothing out for the game because, like I told him, you know, I'm very superstitious, uh, oh, especially yeah. in this time. So you know, I kind of rock with the same thing. Oh yeah, for sure. Do you have a favorite designer brand? Yeah, Louis Vuitton. Louis Vuitton. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's like his. His are fire too. And I also heard <laughs> what you mentioned. You can sing. Is that right? <laughs> What's your favorite songs to sing? Uh, it just depends on my mood, really. And yeah. How I'm feeling, whatever. You know, I might hit shuffle in the in the shower. It just depends on the mood. Got you singing in the shower, singing in the car. Yeah, you know, all you that R and B. You know. R and B. Maybe, maybe some Rod Wave, Rap. some old Drake. You know. Country. Nah. Oh, old Drake. Little, nah. Old that's Drake's that's I'll leave that for Malik. Oh, for Malik. Yeah, that's Malik's Malik. like that's Malik's country. game. Oh, that's funny. Do you think you could do a little rendition of Ave Maria? right now? No, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> do you ever sing to your teammates when they're having a bad game to cheer them up? Sing to them when they have a bad mm -hmm. game? Nah, I mean, I just kind of leave them alone. Have you ever thought about it though? Nah, you know, they, they're, they're a different type of people. You know, they don't want to be bothered by anybody. So, you know, you got to really just leave them alone, let them figure it out. Brian, would you like for Jaden to sing to you? Oh, yeah. Yes? <laughs> okay. See? For See? So. <laughs> <laughs> what artist would you compare your singing to? If you had to name one. Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. I love Michael Jackson. No, for real. Is he your favorite? I mean, he's all time I great. Mean, I mean, he's all time you know, it's a, king of pop. Yeah. Can you dance like him too? Yeah, most definitely. Let's yeah, go. he can. He's the, I can moonwalk. Yeah? I you can, can moonwalk? Yeah. What about this? Okay, so Thanksgiving is coming up. Do you have a favorite Thanksgiving food? Do I have? Nah, just food, honestly. Just food? Yeah. What, do you have one, Michael? Do you have a favorite Thanksgiving food? Uh, mac and cheese, for sure. Mac and cheese. I mean, I think that's just regular Mac and cheese, food, I mean, you can eat mac and cheese any time, yeah, though. you know, it's like a regular thing. All right, what about favorite Christmas movie? Friday After Next. Friday After Next? Yeah, never seen it. I've never seen it. Have you seen it? You should watch it. Yes, I have. I'd go with Elf. I like it. Elf, too. I like Home Alone. 
I like Elf too. Polar Express is good. I feel like Home Alone is the best. Which one? Home Alone. This one. <laughs> yeah, multiple. There's, there's oh, yeah. you want me to just pick one? Yeah, like, oh, just Home Alone then. I'm doing okay. Home Alone. That's classic. Best Christmas movie of all time. Best selling. What do you think about Christmas shoes? As far as what? Have you ever thought about that? Christmas What's your opinion? shoes. Christmas shoes. Hmm. I mean, if people like them, you know, they're gonna rock them. You know, like Alpha Kamara Christmas shoes. I mean, you know, it's, it's like he's in the spirit. You know, the red and green. I you know, love you can't, it. You can't I go wrong it. with it. If Michael made you a pair of Christmas shoes, would you wear them? Yeah, I mean, we, we wouldn't be playing during that time, but yeah. Is it true Jaden Daniels stands on business? Most definitely. <laughs> Most definitely. What would you do if somebody said Jaden Daniels doesn't stand on business? What would you do? Stand on business. Stand on business, that's right. That's what somebody stand who stands on business would say. What's your favorite part about going to LSU? My favorite part about going to LSU? Uh, they will hang out with those guys like Brian and Malik. You know, there's some great guys. So For sure. It's my favorite part. You get to see them every day. That's awesome. Go Tigers.